Miss Dante, she reads my cards, 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 Miss Dante. Scorpio, hi Scorpio, welcome to your um, August 2023 reading. Make sure you guys are cool, calm, and collected. I'm very excited for this reading. I'm being a little bit of a cross, a wouch. Yes. Me and Scorpio are like so passionate. I was just telling this to somebody today. I was like, yesterday, I was like, um, Scorpios are vampires, literally. Not in a bad way, you know, like in a good way. Senses, etc. All right, Scorpio, here we go. Scorpio. Scorpio, I see you being shocked about a specific situation. Therefore, I see you keeping your distance from this situation. I see you not saying anything at all. I see you just keeping this to yourself. You're keeping your ground. You're keeping your position within this time. Literally, you're keeping your gravity to yourself within this situation. Um, please don't get entangled. You know, don't get caught up in this situation. Don't become too involved. Don't, don't say too much, you know, just pull your energy completely back, cut yourself off completely. I see you overall in this month, you are ascending. You're going to continue ascending already in this Empress energy that you're already in, you know? I see you've been protecting yourself. Just make sure you keep that narrative as you're moving forward. Try not to spend too much time um, anywhere doing anything with people, you know, just don't create any cycles within this time as you're moving forward, you know, uh, you know, because it's going to create some consequences for you that you definitely don't want at all, you know, with certain people just by you trying to be a superhero, literally I'm telling you. Um, I do see right now you are trying to realize yourself out of a specific situation. You already know what to do. I see you are playing a little stupid before you give, you know, everything a green light within everything that you're doing, literally. Um, just be very careful. I see there is going to be a little bit of a halt by the third week of um, August, my darling. Um, you're going to think back and forth. You're going to wait for the sign from divine whether you're going to take that risk or not, literally. But I see you realizing yourself, you know, I see you working things out within this month. I see you realizing some finances here. I see you actually emotionally withdrawing successfully, you know, from these situations by the fourth week. You're gonna feel like you're kicking ass, literally, but just be careful from becoming too weary, you know, by the third and fourth week. Just cause, you know, you're gonna have ate a lot of your plate. So you definitely wanna make sure that you land, my darling. Overall, you're going to feel pretty good, you know, because you're going to feel sturdy. You're going to feel logical about several situations, you know, within this time. Um, and I see right now you kind of getting uh, the crowd stimulated towards your direction. You know, you're convincing the crowd, literally. I see you also going on a trip, like at the beginning of September. This is something that's like out of the blue. This is something out of the sudden, my darling. I see this is something you're gonna be very excited about. Part of you overall is like, you're so high up, you know, in what it is that you're doing. You've grown up already, you realize that it's like, what else? It's like for you, it's like, okay, you're like thinking. Like you're like, you know, reprogramming. You're reprogramming yourself. But you know, at that point, the program don't even need to think about itself. It just needs to go. It just needs to be realized, you know? It just needs to run. The program needs to run. You hear me? I know that's right. Hmm. The, sh the show. The show. 